In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each element in NH42S. This is ammonium sulfide. So for this compound, overall, it doesn't have a negative or a positive sign. So overall, it's a neutral compound. But we're going to look at the two ions that are involved separately. So let's look first at the ammonium ion. We have two of them. We'll just look at one. Ammonium ion always has an ionic charge of one plus. So that's a good one to remember. So if we have an ion, like the ammonium ion here, all the oxidation numbers add up to the charge on the ion. So we don't know what the nitrogen is. We're going to call that X. We do know that hydrogen, when it's bonded to nonmetals, nitrogen, that's a nonmetal, it's plus one. So we could say that we have X plus the one, we have four hydrogens, and all of that equals the ionic charge, which is one plus. We'll just call it one. Now we solve for x. x plus 4 equals 1. Add negative 4 to both sides. We have x equals minus 3. So this nitrogen here, that's going to have an oxidation number of minus 3. And we know the hydrogen, each one, is 1 plus. For the sulfide ion here, normally we think of sulfur as having a 2 minus ionic charge. In this case, we know we have NH4 plus. We have two of them. So that would be 2 plus. This has to be 2 minus. So that's the charge. And in this case, the charge, that equals the oxidation number here, since it's just by itself. For oxidation numbers, we write the negative sign before the 2. So we would put a negative 2 as the oxidation number. And that's it. These are the oxidation numbers for each element here in NH42S. This is Dr. B with ammonium sulfide. Thanks for watching.